So we're on, on the uh, Uniworld Joie de Vivre, and I've got with me what some people would argue is the most important job on the ship, even more important than the captain, and this is Jeanette. She's the sommelier for, uh, for us this week, and she's been helping because I'm a wine idiot. So she's been helping me pick wines, and you haven't had a miss yet. It's just been outstanding. So how do you help people pick the right wine for them? Well, um, I would ask a lot of questions. Mm -hmm. um, what is their taste? What they like? what mood are they at the moment, mm -hmm. what is the food they're going to eat. So slowly but uh, effectively I would uh, get to, to, to the perfect wine. Mm -hmm. And I see right behind we've got all, we've got wines from all over the world here. It's, yes. uh, you guys, is there any particular type of wine they that you... They are precious. <laughs> 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 we do have wines from all over the world, mm -hmm. European wines, South American wines, American wines, South African wines, Australian wines. We try to keep our wine list uh, full filled with all sorts. Hungarian of wines? Unfortunately, not here. <laughs> <laughs> but on the Jeanette's Danube. from Hungary. <laughs> anyway, carry on. Yeah. On the Danube, uh, yes, there are some Hungarian wines as well. So we are on a French itinerary on this particular yes. cruise. We're on the Seine River sail sailing from uh, Paris to Normandy. So it's not just French wines, although you, there is a, a distinct local flavor to what you're offering. Yes, uh, our culinary team is preparing exquisite meal for every evening. Yes. And uh, those meals are paired with fine wines from the area, mm -hmm. from the locals. So, yes, they are French. So we get to try them at dinner, and then do you do uh, uh, wine tastings or any events like that on board? Yes, and the wine tasting is very flexible. Yes. If I have uh, wineies like yourself, yeah. uh, we, can get to <laughs> yeah. we can get to a discussion, and uh, we can uh, um, choose the wines, actually, mm -hmm. what they like to taste. But normally it runs on, um, on wines from all over the world. Mm -hmm. So how did you get into this line of work? What does it take to be, I don't think I will ever be a sommelier, I don't think I'm smart enough, but what, uh, how did you get into this? I think you would make a great sommelier. <laughs> <laughs> now you're just because, flattering me. Because it starts with a passion and you already like wines. Yes. So this is how it started with me as well. Uh, I had a brilliant uh, master sommelier I worked with and I told him I don't like wines at all and he said, let me show you, let me introduce you uh, mm -hmm. the wine, the world of the wines. And uh, slowly, patiently, he showed me uh, very step by step the wines. And I, one day I realized, oh, actually I like it. Mm -hmm. And uh, I started to read, I started to be more interested about wines. Well, and then one day I woke up and here I am. <laughs> <laughs> At the wine thing. Well, thank you very much, Kirsten Ohm. Thank you. <laughs>